modeling part. It will be very, very quick. So this is a modeling part. We call it a professional interface. Later, I will show you drag and drop interface. So what do, do we have here? We have the same blocks of functions. We always start by integrated data sources. And I just want you to show you that what data is inside this uh, data sources. We also have documentation on each of the calculation step. You can write documentation. However, you can grasp some ideas in this model and see how what KPIs are calculated and how they are calculated. After integrating data sources, we review data and everything is uh, processed in the calculations. Here, I just, uh, sorry, I, I will just jump a little bit. Yeah, I show you here, add one of the calculation steps uh, with, uh, we see here eight rules and each rule has its own parameters. Uh, those parameters, as I said, you don't need any coding. You just change parameters and uh, yeah, you, you, you still need to write formulas uh, for your calculations like in Excel, but there is no coding. And for example, if something in rule one needs to be changed, you go here and change the formula, but you don't need to redesign, you know, all other, all other functions. So this is a, a power of uh, a CPP APM. And again, all the steps have documentation part. You can describe, modeler can describe what he did so that sustainability manager would understand uh, what was done in specifically in this step. This definitely increases the calculation transparency. Yeah, this is processing part. And after processing, there is a reporting part where all those reports are created. And that's how in the report tab, you can choose those graphs and uh, you can set up your uh, reports. Now I jump to modeling flow. This is exactly the same model, the same calculation, just different interface. It's more like user-friendly, more fancy. But what I like about it, that when you select one of the tables, this is the same table, there are arrows and you see how it's related to other functions, where it goes, where data goes. So once I click on any of the function, I see arrows, I can expand and the, on the, here on the right, I can change the parameters of those functions. And here basically I just show you that there are different functions, uh, for example, uh, I want to see in the processing part, emission production activity calculation. It consumes the data from IoT uh, and all other like tables, uh, sourcing tables. So you can understand which step, what data consumes and what goes next. Arrows are showing that. And later, this calculation is going to the, yeah, we, we have this documentation and you can imagine anyone coming here and reading documentation, following arrows, understanding how calculations are made. It's easier to explain it to your stakeholders, to employees to talk about because you have everything in front of your eyes. Here is a, a yellow ones are join functions, uh, then agree where you make allocation to uh, cost to objects to products. So basically you need to, to do those calculations, you need to be trained. It requires some time, but anyone inside the project will be trained and later you understand how to create those reports that they will come in the reporting uh, tab. So that I wanted to show you 